Hey, what's up, people of YouTube? This is Grow Me Something Mister. Eating a cool treat. My uh, homegrown grapes. Mmm. All right. Do a garden update for you. What's up, people of YouTube? This is Grow Me Something Mister. It is Saturday, July 9th, 2016. It's a summer garden update. Here's my watermelon bed. Last video I mentioned trimming, not trimming. Uh, I have been trimming. I need to be able to cut the grass along this little uh, lane right here. But uh, through trimming, uh, you get to see things that you haven't seen before. I've mentioned that once before. I have several watermelons uh, in here that you get to discover. There's one right there. And uh, check out this bad boy right here. Can you see that? So that one's a good 12 inches in diameter. Uh, in, in length, I would guess. Uh, I think I have another couple of watermelons somewhere around here. I have several in here. Um, cantaloupe. I'm getting some of these little fuzzies, but uh, they're not actually starting to, to really grow. Uh, I wish they would. Um, I have, I believe, two different varieties of cantaloupe. Uh, one's supposed to be a real nice uh, sweet one. The other one's supposed to be like a 10-pound cantaloupe. So, like I said, I've got them hanging around, but uh, they're not actually growing to anything. In my last video, I mentioned that uh, I took out my potatoes. So, potatoes are out. Sweet potatoes are in. I have uh, potato slips here. One, two, three. I have four pots of those. I have to put some sort of trellis for those to uh, vine into. Uh, we'll get that done uh, once they start uh, getting longer. Uh, my little mini experiment here with uh, compost fertilizer versus the Fox Farm for, uh, soil. Um, got a couple of tomatoes on this one here. This one here we also have a couple of tomatoes. Uh, and this plant actually has grown to be where it's, it's breaking apart. There's so much extra limbs uh, that it's breaking apart. So um, I don't know, it may be that this Fox Farm did beat out this one here uh, by a good long shot. Um, so we know what this plant is here. These are cayenne peppers. It's there. It's doing its thing. Same thing with these garlic here. They're just doing their thing. I haven't pulled these out yet. These are still fairly green and growing. So I'm, I'm going to leave these in for another uh, while. The reaper came through. And I ripped down all manner of plants here. I was tearing out the beans. I was tearing out the, the cucumbers because they just weren't producing. And you know the way it goes in my garden. If you're not producing, I want you out. That's, uh, that's Eddie Mac right there. That's the uh, Gordon Ramsay reference. Um, so here, all that, that's uh, more sweet potato slips. Uh, pulled out the beans because they're just slowly producing or weren't producing at all. And uh, I figured it's time to get the sweet potatoes in for my cousin Jennifer for Thanksgiving. So she makes that Jen's even better stuff. Um, so... There we go, Jennifer. Check that out. Uh, hopefully we'll have that for Thanksgiving. Bell peppers right here. These plants here have been ravaged. Uh, I had a large plant right around this area here where you see my hand. And uh, I think that was uh, taking out too much nutrients and a lot of the bugs are getting to it. So I'm hoping these start to produce. Here are my... These are California Wonder bell peppers, by the way. These here are the Rossi Diasti, it's red bell pepper and uh, the plants uh, have uh, bell peppers all over them in fact there's one to harvest as well right here nice red bell pepper check that out we'll get that harvested I have other bell peppers to harvest cayenne peppers all manner of cayenne peppers ready to go haven't decided what I'm going to do with that yet I could dry them out and make my own ground cayenne pepper. I could uh, put this with vinegar. Uh, for when we have uh, soups in the winter time, you can have uh, that uh, hot, um, hot sauce, basically. Let's get in here and harvest this red bell pepper. Here we go. Check out the size of that. Four low. Nice red bell pepper. That'll make some good eating right there. Looks like I have another one. Let's harvest that one. Why not? Not fully red yet, but that's fine. I don't want any bugs getting to it. And we've got to harvest some of these cayenne peppers as well. 
Oh yeah, there's plenty of harvest. Check out the tomatoes. Still got tomatoes kicking, uh, as expected. It's, it's straight out of summertime. I uh, see it looks like another one that's bad. I've been throwing away tomatoes into the compost pile for a while now. Uh, they get uh, ripped apart, bugs get into them, they get eaten. They get ripped apart because of the rain and then the heat. It, um, it splits them up a good bit. Alright, check out my okra. They're getting bigger. Uh, they're actually quite large as far as the size of the, the leaves. Uh, but I'm not getting any um, anything off of it. I know Cheryl was getting some uh, from probably this size, a little bit smaller. Uh, the trunks are fairly thick, but uh, I'm not getting actual okra to come in. I need that for my gumbo. Well, that's it, everybody. Before I go any further, let me just tell you something. When you're harvesting peppers, cayenne peppers, whatever, do not touch your face, do not touch your eye. If you're sweating, just deal with it. You do not want to put that in your face because you will be burning. Uh, I sort of know that from first-hand experience, but not from now. Uh, after I harvested these, I made sure to wash my hands twice, actually. Uh, I still didn't touch my face. So that's what we've got harvested today. Cayenne peppers, red bell peppers, Creole tomatoes, some sort of grape. I don't know what they are exactly, but uh, those are harvested, ready to go. Just need to be chilled and washed. So this is some compost here, my aged compost. And that's uh, some new batch of compost that I've got going. I'm going to give that to someone as well. So, okay. Thanks very much for watching this garden update. Really appreciate it. Something you want to know about, email me, strawheadvideo at gmail.com. This is Grow Me Something, Mr. And remember to, um, I don't have an exit line, so see you later, everybody.